when you're ready. The question I decided to focus on today was how can stress affect college athletes? To begin, collegiate athletics has become a huge part of sports and its culture in general, so it's important to focus on and emphasize some of the aspects that come along with that. Specifically, what the source of stress is for some of these athletes, how it impacts performance and well-being, and what can be done to resolve some of the issues that come along with it. All points that will be talked about today. The first point is that of understanding exactly what stress is and how it works. To be specific, stress is the body's natural reaction to any demand or challenge. When faced with such demands, the body's defenses kick into high gear in a process that can also be known as fight or flight. Regarding the, pressure, the high pressure atmosphere of college sports, the demands can be physical in the name of strains from conditioning or working out, um, emotional in the form of pressure to win or pressure to succeed, and mental in the form of strategizing or overall just finding a happy medium in the situation that athletes find themselves in. Relating these ideas towards collegiate athletics, the concept of stress isn't just a side effect of playing, but in actuality an aspect of college life overall. These athletes are expected to maintain peak physical condition, uh, maintain academic success, and somehow be able to maintain a, a personal life all at the same time, a combination that can definitely have a prolonged effect on the mental health of college athletes. The next point is focusing on the sources of stress and looking more into the lives that college athletes live. It's pretty evident that the schedules they have are intense. Looking here, you can see that the daily schedule um, provided by NCSA that shows a sample in-season Division I football schedule. Um, it's full of hard demands that start very early in the day and end very early at night, which is enough to stress out any normal person. Uh, this sample also doesn't include the rigorous travel schedule that's implemented on game days, uh, which is a whole other component that can be seen as stressful while trying to balance everything necessary to be a student athlete. While the schedule these athletes have to complete daily it's pretty rough. There are also more factors to their experiences that can cause stress, like their performance on the playing field, for example. Athletes can face constant pressure to excel at their respective sport, which gets, which gets intensified by the fear of injuries and outperformance from other people, which can all become extremely overwhelming. Along with athletics, academic demands, uh, management of social life, and the uncertainty of what might become after college sports are done, um, all also contribute to the massive amount of stress that uh, plague and decrease the mental health of athletes all over the country. With the sources of stress, of those stress being so prevalent, it's also important to recognize the signs and the signs that stress allows people who are feeling it to express, them being physical, emotional, and behavioral. Beginning with the physical changes, um, changes in eating habits uh, or frequent illness can be clues that something is not quite right in an athlete. Um, as for emotional indicators, um, increased feelings of frustration or mood changes uh, can be considered signs of stress. And finally, for behavioral, uh, withdrawal from activities, uh, lack of engagement, or decreased uh, performance on the playing field can be three, all be three pinpoint signs that uh, action needs to be taken in acknowledging the problem that athletes have in stress and getting help for it. In the history of sports, um, recognizing when people need help uh, and to take a break to recollect themselves uh, is something that is very scarce and not a lot of athletes do it. So it was very surprising when uh, renowned gymnast Simone Biles decided to opt out of the 2020 Olympic Games for that very reason. It came as a complete shock to everybody, but the reasoning behind her decision is what made the whole deal so much more captivating. Um, specifically, Simone described that uh, she just wasn't fighting all those demons. Uh, she didn't trust herself as much as she used to. She never felt like this before when asked about it. She said that no, uh, her mental was just not there. And at the time, it sounded like an excuse to cover up the fact that for her standards, uh, her performance wasn't up to par with those of her past. But in actuality, it was a huge step forward for athletics as no one had ever come forward so blatantly honest like she did. Um, as described in the article written by Marcus Thompson, Pyle opted for vulnerability um, instead of deciding to hide her struggles like we see so many athletes do today. In the eyes of Marcus Thompson, Biles' actions were courageous, which carries over to the idea of moral courage and intelligent disobedience. Um, in the article written by Ted Thomas and Ira Chellif of the same name, uh, the idea of courage is something that is described and needed in the military in order to be successful. Um, 
it's a, crit a critical application of courage uh, is knowing when to disobey or go against or go against the social norm, which is exactly what Simone Biles did in her Olympic stem of absence. Deciding to go against popular opinion and remove herself from the Olympics uh, for her sake and for her mental sake is something that definitely makes her decision extremely courageous. Um, it also helps set up the possible solutions that can help manage stress and increase mental health within college athletes. Obviously, like I just talked about, the first main solution is to acknowledge that you might need a break from whatever sport that you may be playing um, and actively participating in, as it can be healthy for the body and mind down the line. The role that into it institutions and colleges also play is a big role in making sure that athletes get the resources that they need, like stress management workshops and advisors tailored to the specific needs that athletes have. Supportive environments and regular monitoring are also points of action that could be taken as they both help create um, just a safe culture that feels inclusive regardless of the problems that athletes have going on in their lives. And to conclude, stress has become a prominent component in everyday life of a college athlete. As we see what it looks like unchecked, it's important to know that as an athletic community, we can make sure that um, the environments that these athletes are put in um, is healthy, not only for the well-being, but also for the mental health of its members um, so that these athletes can actively flourish in the lives that they so willingly chose. I had a huge soundtrack to that, huge applause. All right, uh, a couple of questions. Um, <clears throat> what evidence did you gather for your paper that you didn't include in your presentation, and why did you choose not to include it? Um, there was one thing that I decided not to include. It was more kind of like the um, science part of stress and how that can kind of affect the brain. And I thought it was really important, but then I just was like kind of comparing it to all my other information, and I just realized that all my other information was definitely more worthy of putting in a presentation compared to that. And while I wish I could have had a little more time to put it in there, I just definitely think that the information I had in here was more important um, okay. than it needs to be put in there. All right. One more question. Um, what additional questions emerged from your research and why are they important? Say that one more time, please. What additional questions emerged from your research and why are those important questions? Um, maybe kind of just focusing on like the future and how the future would look in all of this because um, you know the like the recent landscape of college sports has been changing and um, you know people kind of want to focus on the now but the future is also very important too so I guess that was probably like the main question that kind of stemmed from my research is how uh, the future is going to look and that's kind of a question that I looked into a little bit but I couldn't really find too much on but that was definitely something that I think stemmed from my research. Okay, all right, thank you.